Bye. Good morning. <laughs> Actually, it hasn't been a great morning. It's six. And the past eight hours has just been crazy. The girls had food poisoning. I don't know what it was. I think it may have been the tomatoes. I didn't eat any tomatoes. Well, anyway, so Kira was acting up at the dinner table. She didn't want to eat. So Benji took her outside to give her fresh air. And he said that she threw up when they were out. And so anyway, when I had her, I gave her a bath. And then she vomited again. And then she just kept vomiting. And then fast forward another hour and a half. This one. She vomited all over her bed. It was literally all over her bed. And then Mia didn't start till an hour ago. I've been trying to give Kira water and she's been like throwing it up. And just this last half hour I gave her water and she's been holding it down. And she ate a little bit of banana. Anyway, so Benji's in the bathroom right now with Mia. Trying to take care of her business. I think he's keeping her in there so when she throws up it doesn't get all over because We've changed sheets, we've changed clothes, and their clothes, and it just, like, it keeps piling up. So, it's been crazy. My girls are troopers. Excuse me, Kira! Daddy's gonna go out and do laundry. Our laundry that we have here is so tiny that you could fit literally, like, one bedding so he's gonna go to the laundry mat and clean all the towels and bedding i'm just very glad the girls are actually looking better last night nightmare moment for a parent it is well and also for all of them they don't know what's going on this is their first experience of food poisoning they were freaking out like all of them were freaking out except for mia she actually slept through most of it but they had every right to. But it was really scary for us. Especially being in a foreign country, I was thinking, oh my gosh, we need to go to hospital. I don't even know where the hospital is. Just plenty of fluids, jello. Benji's gonna go out and get some broth. JB's just kind of dry heaving. And then Mia is just throwing up periodically. How about you, Kira? She's organizing her Dizzy Princess dresses. Wow, what a beautiful dress. Ooh, that's beautiful too. Oh, that's for Elsa. Good night, Mommy. Oh, you already finished your jello bee. Uh -huh. Look at that tiny little dump truck. Everything is miniature here in Tokyo. Even their vehicles. We've got a bag here with stuff. I've never seen this before. I totally forgot all about it. What did I get though? Apple juice. Peach. Hey, you forgot your bag. Forgot your bag. Mia. Okay, see you later. is crazy. Judy sent me out to get coloring books for the girls and 
could get lost in this place. Oh man, this is nuts. Oh dang, look, Asahi! It's our friend Asahi Sasaki here on the Revlon display. That's tight. So it's been a few hours and none of the girls have uh, spit up or thrown up. I have my emergency bag here and it's empty. Daddy called and he saw the laundry mat. I guess he had to do a manual one because the machine was taken. I hope he vlogs it because that seems really interesting, but I don't know. He just seems like he seems so distraught because of last night. Like we didn't get any sleep. So he's trying to get all this stuff done. It's not nice to push mommy. What? No egg surprise. Guess what, guys? Actually. The girls got egg surprise yesterday. Do you want to open it? Yes. You want to open egg surprise? Mom, can I have the let go? You want the frozen one? Yeah. Okay, let's go find it. <laughs> I'm so trying to open it. Laundry mat. Judy does most of the washing these days, so I haven't even done any washing lately. I uh, grew up real young having to do my own laundry like at second grade. It's just been a while for me. Anyways, I want to show you guys this really cool machine. An all-in-one. Supposedly this washes, this dries, and it also has soap in it. So it's real easy. I can't read most of this stuff. But what's cool is kind of has some pictures. Tells you like, you know, depending on your load size. Oh, there's even lines right there. That's nice. Um, the this is the uh, this is a cost and this a thousand you can equate to um, about ten dollars, probably like closer to eight or nine dollars with our exchange rate right now. So for every hundred yen, it's at one dollar. They've got two different size machines. I used this one last night. It works pretty well. Judy did say that she felt like uh, I didn't use soap, which I didn't. I thought the machine had soap. So, anyways, but somebody is using these, so I'm gonna be taking up all three of these machines right now. Frozen? Do you want Mickey or Frozen? Mickey. Mickey? Okay, so two Mickeys and one Frozen. Don't move. Do you got it? Got it. It's in the bag, Mommy. It's in the bag. Oh, I forgot where I put the bag. We'll put it somewhere. Okay, see. Oh. Hi guys, today I to open the frozen chocolate ink now to get started. Can I open now? Did you just like the chocolate after you open it? No, it's a big chocolate. It's a big chocolate. Is that good? She dropped her egg under the table. I think it's a good exchange since you helped her eat her chocolate. Yeah. 
Uh huh. Yeah, no. Let's open it. Let's Final. Done. Done, son. nap time and I can't find Mia anywhere. Did she leave? Mia. What? Where's that sound coming from? Mia. Where's Mia? Where's Mia? Where's Mia? Oh, there you are. Bad time, bad time for Stinky Bear. No, no. Did you seriously just pee in the tub? What a waste.